In this video, we're going to talk about how you can edit a podcast with multiple camera angles, multiple audio files, etc., and prepare a fully cut timeline with the ability to switch between camera angles with Premiere Pro and Timebolt. Let's start by opening up Premiere Pro and importing our source files into the media pool. For this project, I have two source video files, which are the camera angles for each speaker, and they also contain the audio for each speaker. We'll drop the video files one by one into the timeline to create the sequence and synchronize them. You can add as many video and audio files as you want to your timeline at this stage. All you have to do is make sure they're synchronizable manually or with auto sync. If your clips have overlapping audio, you can marquee select those clips, click on synchronize and then select audio to auto sync based on audio tracks. For the files I have, I know that they both start from zero, so I don't need to do that. Once we've laid out our timeline with our source clips, we need to cut out the dead air and create the jump cuts. This is where Timebolt comes in. If you're familiar with Timebolt, you'd know that Timebolt only works on one file at a time. To help Timebolt generate the cuts for our timeline, which contains a lot of different files, we'll export a WAV file which contains all of the timeline audio, flattened into one. Go to the Export section in Premiere Pro and in the Format drop-down, select Waveform Audio. After deciding on where you want to save the WAV file, click Export. Once the export is done, open Timebolt. Next, drag and drop your new WAV file in Timebolt and wait for the cuts to be created. After the cuts are ready, we need to apply these cuts to our timeline in Premiere Pro. To do this, we'll use the Timebolt Premiere Pro extension. I've added a link in the description about installing and learning more about the Timebolt Premiere Pro extension. For now, scroll to the bottom of the Timebolt window and click the JSON button. This will generate a JSON file, which contains all of the cut instructions, which you can use to apply the cuts to the timeline with Timebolt Premiere Pro extension. Let's go back into Premiere Pro and open the Timebolt extension. To use the extension, select all of the clips in the timeline and click on Apply JSON File. Navigate to the folder where the JSON cut instruction file was saved and open it. The timeline will now be edited based on the cuts. Our next step is to create the multicam sequence in Premiere Pro. First, we'll select all the clips and unlink them. To do this, select all of the clips with Control A, right click on the clips and select Unlink. Then marquee select all of the video tracks and create a nest. Right click on the nest, go into multicamera and click on Enable. This converts the video track nest into a multicam sequence. We're close to finishing, but we're not done yet. As Timebolt has cut out all of the pauses and dead air while creating the perfect jump cuts, we can preview the podcast and switch cameras between speakers. For this, we're going to need the toggle multi-camera view button. If you don't see it already, you can click on the plus button and drag it into the control section. After clicking on it, your viewport will change, showing you the camera angles on the left and the actual video on the right. If you want a more detailed explanation about this topic, you can watch Justin Odisho's video, which is linked in the description. For a quick rundown, you go to the beginning of the timeline and select your first camera angle with your mouse and start playing. As you play the timeline, it starts recording and waits for you to select another camera and creates a cut at the location of where you switched. Now, because the cuts are already done and the audio tracks for each speaker are stacked on top of each other, you can eyeball and be prepared for when the switch would happen. So it could be, this could be our Zoom. Yeah, they're uploading stuff. Uh, when <laughs> have DSLRs, right? Yes. I'm trying to find, let's see, desktop. I'm trying to find uh, where I can give it permission to share my screen i was just checking to check out the screen oh share. okay i i think uh dan once you stop playing you can see the cuts in the multi-cam sequence and that is how you edit a podcast with multiple camera angles with premiere pro and timebolt